Thank you, Karen Corley. Um, I welcome the opportunity also to speak on the sick leave bill and Sinn Féin fully supports the introduction of a statutory sick pay scheme. We support this bill and have argued for such a scheme for decades. Uh, Tarnished, the bill has been broadly welcomed by the trade unions, many of whom were instrumental in lobbying for it. As a former shop steward, I would urge all workers to join a union to help them to make advances in pay, terms and conditions for all workers. We support the aim of the bill, but it is not without flaws. The lack of free and timely access to a GP is a huge problem, and all the previous speakers tarnished to have mentioned this. Um, immediate medical certs from a registered medical uh, practitioner is very hard to access if you can't find a GP. Sinn Féin proposed that until there is a universal GP care in this state, workers be allowed limited period. It would be wrong to require a GP certification given the severe lack of doctors throughout the country. And in part of my constituency, it can take over a week to get an appointment. I've raised this issue several times in the House, but the government has turned a deaf ear to the problem. The best time to act to solve this problem was 10 years ago. The second best time now, Tanishta, is now. I'm asking again that the government act to solve the lack of doctors and the lack of dentists as soon as possible. The need for medical certification in, in order to qualify for sick pay also places an unnecessary financial burden on workers. This will result in employees attending work when they are sick or else taking unpaid leave to cover the duration of their illness, which will undermine the purpose of the sick pay scheme. Workers who are with their employers for less than 13 continuous weeks are excluded from the scheme and this must change. Section 10 of the Bill allows the Labour Court to, uh, to exempt an employer from the obligation to pay an employee sick pay if they can prove to the Labour Court that they cannot pay it. This is an unnecessary measure. Any employer who can afford to have employees needs to prioritise the people who help them to make profits. No doubt the right-wing parties in this House will argue that workers will abuse the sick pay scheme and that employers should have an opt-out clause. Some companies have claimed they can't afford to pay things like the minimum wage. Tarnish, since the passing of the National Minimum Wage Act, not a single employer has ever appealed to the Labour Court and opened their books to show them that they can't pay the minimum wage in an effort to receive an exemption from paying it. In 2012, and I will remind you like previous speakers, Fine Gael and the Labour government introduced tax on illness benefit from day one. Talk about kicking people when they are down. This kind of attitude is why Sinn Féin will continue to expose their anti-working agenda. If we learned any lessons from the pandemic, we learned that in some sectors, workers' rights have been eroded beyond recognition. There is a reason why the hospitality and the carer sectors are struggling to recruit enough workers. We need to move towards a living wage economy, and if, there are to, if we are to address poverty and ensure a fair wage for all, but realistically, if we don't, the rising tide will lift all the boats, Tanishta. Garv Thank you, Deputy Ryan. Uh, we go